ladies and gentlemen, you have joined us for CZW Presents Athena, the War Goddess. You've seen her every Monday night competing on WWE Raw as Ember Moon, but today you watch her as she traverses the combat zones, women, superstars uncensored. Let's join the action and witness Athena, the War Goddess. I know you're all excited, okay? Hey, hey, shut up, enough. Let me tell you all something. I am not going to be involved in a match with ladders, chairs, or any weapon of any sort. Too late now. No, 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 no. Hey! Well, I don't think Athena cares. Uncensored rules are just means we have to have a winner by any means necessary. Now keep in mind, Dan, both of these individuals already wrestled here tonight. You're absolutely right, but you can see how Athena means business. The last time we saw these two, that ladder match, it's almost the same look Athena's sporting now. She pulled the hair up, and she's ready for war. Oh. Nearly taking out the entire crowd when she used that suicide dive. Almost putting Hanaya right through the guard railing. And she didn't need to use it. She just happened to fall into it. How personal has this become? These two. Oh my goodness. Now, as, as, as far as we know, this is still an uncensored rules match. Therefore, that means there must be a pinfall or submission. It doesn't matter where this match goes, we will have a winner. Even though Hanaya wanted to do it more on a, a, a normal Well, she knows field. she knows what happened. The last time, Athena was victorious in a ladder match. Even though Hanaya was the one that walked out at the end of that night. And if you haven't done so yet, you can continue to talk about all the action on social media using the hashtag excellence. Because right now we have an excellent uncensored rules match as Hanaya sends Athena back into the ring. The whole nine has been excellent. Huge drop kick from the Howling Huntress going for a cover here. One, two, only getting a two count. Obviously, the referee did not heed the uh, the request of Hanaya, and he's letting them go wherever they want to go. And yeah, normally, this would be a, a count being applied here. Closed fists are not normally allowed in a professional wrestling match, but Yost is not going to stop it. And good for him. The owner said it ends tonight. It has to end tonight. And listen to the crowd. Huge boot to the face, but Athena absorbing it, coming back with a huge fist, dropping Anaya down to a knee. And you know what? L let's face it. Ath I'm not trying to make excuses, but out of the both of them, Athena had more of a longer match, more of a more athletic match. And I a more recent match. Yeah, I think she's running on adrenaline. Pure adrenaline. And also hatred. Yeah, I think the other reason why Hanaya is a bit worried of Athena, and why Athena's been able to go so long, like I said, She's known in her home state of Texas to go in uncensored rules matches on almost on a regular basis for in the early part of her career at least. Oh. Athena pulling out all the stops here tonight. Two, 
she realizes this could be her last opportunity. So she wants to make the best of it. Athena, complete control at this moment. Oh, she landed right on her head. Going for a cover, but only getting a two count. And Hanaya is irate that Athena is not going down as easily as she thought. That head scissors, uh, Athena landed straight on top of her head on the mat. And now we'll see if Hanaya is going to come out. And she is. You know, despite Hanaya saying that she doesn't want an uncensored rules match, she's yeah. not afraid to take to the sky. She's not afraid to get that ladder match, one of the greatest women's ladder matches ever. from that. Swung her head first into the steel railing at ringside. Athena is just a bad, bad woman and she doesn't care about Hanaya's well-being at all. But I think Hanaya feels the exact same way. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to meet either of these two ladies in a dark alley. I feel bad for their boyfriends. God. Listen to the shots. They are not holding back one bit. Absolutely not. I'm afraid how it's going to end, Dan. They're going to kill each other. Putting the other one on the shelf. Oh, man. I think you're completely right about that. And with a suplex like that on the unprotected floor. Unprotected. I was just going to bring that up. Absolutely not. No blue pretty match here. That is just every, I think, I, I could feel in my bones every shot Athena gives her. That's how, how hard she's hitting her. With so much personal hatred. Just pounding her. There's nothing scientific about it. It's just a fight. Nothing at all. This uncensored rules match continues as Athena is measuring up Hanaya, maybe too long, and driving her own shoulder into the steel steps. And that's, that's the unfortunate mistake that could happen. Emotions could take over, just like there, and now her shoulder could be in some serious trouble. We got a cover here, but once again, only getting a two count. Anaya is clearly in her own world. She doesn't realize the beating that Athena could take and keep going. She thought her diving into the stairs one time would put her down. Anaya yeah. sending Athena off the ropes. Didn't get all of it, but enough possibly. Into a cover. But once again, only a two count. And there's Athena coming back with an arm bar. Oh, she got through the ropes. <laughs> Athena ramming her into the turnbuckle. Now trying to set her up. <laughs> Athena joining Hanaya the Howling Huntress. Looking to superplex her, I believe. But Hanaya looking to fight out of it, keeping this match alive, shoving Athena off the top, and Hanaya is in her home. She has no problem flying the skies here, just like that huge moonsault into a cover. One, two, no. only a two count. And look at the look on Hanaya's face. 
Now, what is she doing now? Uh-oh. Hanaya wants a little yeah, now, furniture. Now she wants to get uncensored. What happened to, you know, we don't need all that stuff. That's right, referee told her. He said, you said it, you, it was your request. Turn around. Oh, look out! Oh, man, Yost eating Athena's fist. He's out cold. He's done. Now, there's absolutely no law and order here. As things weren't crazy enough, now there's no official. It doesn't, what's gonna happen here? Where's the, well, Anaya's tapping out. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean anything. She's tapping out, Athena's won the match essentially, but there's no official to make the call. Oh, this is very unfortunate. The crowd is, you know, I believe Hanai is just plain old lucky. Yes. Because there are officials in the back, and from what I understand, one of the ladies in our last match got injured. I'm not yes. sure exactly who, and they obviously are attending her, and that's why no one has come out here. Now, wait a minute. And now Hanai has the rule again. Yeah, she, she didn't want to use any kind of weapons. Well, apparently the rules only apply to Athena, but again, this is uncensored rules. Oh, well, this is, this shouldn't be. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell Yost, are you kidding? No. I mean, he took a pretty bad shot. So now let's, maybe he's gonna disqualify. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's, oh, gee, another shot. Well, that, I guess that justifies disqualification now. I'm looking at Hanaya. Hi, Ladies Taylor. and gentlemen, your winner as a result of a disqualification, Hanaya, oh, wow. the Howling Huntress. I don't agree with that. Contest is set for one fall. Introducing first in the corner to my left, fighting out of Jersey Shore, Japan. This is Sumi Sakai. Her opponent to my right, fighting out of Chicago, backslash Dallas. This is a This should be quite a fantastic athletic matchup between these two young ladies, Sumi Sakai, a world travel athlete, and here's Athena taking part once again in the company that pretty much put her on the map. And this has been a breakout year for, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this has been a breakout year for Athena. And both fan favorites here. So we're in for a treat, like you said. I agree. Absolutely right. Oh, we have a pinfall almost right away here, too, and only a two count. And there's Sumi Sakai following up with a roll up of her own, but only getting a two count. Dan, lots of respect between Sumi and Athena. 
I saw them back in the, in the, in the back together. A lot of respect. Now look at this. Round and round we go. You're absolutely right. And Athena's one that gets a better that exchange, but only getting a two count. I'm a little dizzy watching that myself, I'll be honest. That's all right, man. <laughs> Just imagine what those two ladies are feeling right now. Oh, impressive from Athena able to keep the balance with that. And again. And Sumi now getting the better of that, too. And only getting a two count. You almost have the feeling with this type of matchup, with these two kind of even, it's going to be maybe the first, the first person who makes a mistake will get the pinfall. I think you're right. But you know what? After we saw Sumi Sakai back at uh, earlier this summer, she had a little bit of a new attitude there. And she's not afraid to use some underhand tactics. And here we go, calling a timeout. This is a little bit of a different Sumi Sakai than we're used to. Well, she's probably a little dizzy, maybe. What do you think? Sumi utilizing the count to her advantage. Now the fan offering their sports drink to rejuvenate her. Not so, quite a slurpee, but awfully brave for Sumi to do that. <laughs> now I think she's ready. Like I was saying, you have to watch out for Sumi. Athena might be giving her a little too much respect, but. We'll see. Well, they, they shook hands in the beginning of the match. So as of right now, I guess guilty till, you know, innocent till proven guilty, I should say. Now test of strength, which I don't know if that'll be really a smart move for Sumi to, to be involved with. Oh, well, that took care of that. And there's Sakai now stepping on the knuckles of Athena. Now what you talked about is starting to uh, shed some light. You're absolutely right. Oh, man. And that's definitely going to take out Athena. As, you know, as athletic as Athena is, she is known to dabble in the ultra-violent style. And she's not afraid to, to box someone down. But right now, Sumi Sakai has her in a Boston Crab looking for the submission. And now it's almost like a Texas Cloverleaf variation. Really wrenching back. Hey. Hey. Athena trying uh -huh. to get the ropes, and look how smart. Oh, I think Sakai just took a bite out of her finger as well. I'm not, I'm not condoning that, but it's a great move to, to get her arm, obviously. Maybe there was something in that drink. Possibly. But right now, Sakai's in firm control. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Athena setting her up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And now Sakai has nowhere to go. Her arms and legs are so far away from those bottom ropes. Oh, literally. She's trying to bite her thigh, her, her, her leg. She's doing anything she can to get out of it. No, 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 no. Look at She's trying again to bite that leg. Now she wrenched back and got enough to get those shoulders down, forcing Athena to break the hold. Sakai is literally turning Athena into a Chinese buffet in there. Oh, man. Athena now, again. Sakai rolling out of that submission attempt from Athena. Now arm throw into an arm bar. And you can see how badly Athena wants to get to the bottom rope. One of the most painful submissions in a wrestling match is an arm bar. And Athena able to get those feet to that bottom rope. But Sakai is refusing to break the hold. Come on, Papa Jordan, you get yourself together. He's losing complete control of this match. You can tell how devastating that was by the how quickly Athena got to the ropes. So Kai now boot to the face, slowing down Athena. She's now at the second rope. She's 
Isolated that arm now, going right back to the arm bar. Very smart move by Sakai. Right back to that arm. But uh, Athena holding on, she's not getting all of that arm. And she's desperately holding on with her left arm to that right arm. Well, now Sakai finally breaking the fingertips. But Athena smartly changing this into a pinning combination. Oh. And here's a pure strike from Athena. What strength, even with that bad arm. <laughs> Athena needs to shake that arm off. She needs to get back on top here. She can barely get on the submission attempt. She's a trying right now. But can she get it 100%? You can see she's really favoring that arm. Moving too slowly with that arm, and Sakai able to roll out of it. Springboarding off the second row, cross body into a pinning combination. Two, and only a two count again. That was textbook right there. Athena now using those kicks to the midsection, and Sakai now looking at that leg for some damage. Inzaguri dropping down Athena. Now Sakai going up. I thought maybe because Athena with her arm, maybe she's going to resort to her legs. Possibly. There's a huge drop kick. Folding Athena inside out. Even Sakai like it. She's clapping. She actually thinks the fans are supporting her. That's how delusional she is right now. But right now, she is looking quite well here from the top turn. Oh, my God. Forget about it. She absorbed it. She's right up, and she gives her one. Oh my God! Oh, look at a nip up, head scissors, sending Sakai to the bottom ropes. Athena now, what does she have planned as she slides to the outside? Kick right directly to the bridge of that nose. This is breaking down, Dan, and I'm loving it. Athena now high atop, there's Sakai cutting her off. Oh, look out! Sakai. Oh my lord! Beautiful. Sakai. Now, is that enough? Still a little too cocky there. Rolling back, reversal, almost getting a three count herself as Athena. I was gonna say, you can't pin an Athena like that. Are you kidding me? Oh man. We talked about power with Athena. That took some power right there. Absolutely right. We got a two count. Uh oh. Oh, almost. Sakai is just not learning her lesson in there. Almost. Yeah. Oh, man. Right into the turnbuckle. Folding Athena up. We have a pin, pinfall again here, but Athena smartly, or maybe not smartly after the beating she's been taking, breaking up that three count. Now you know, you know Athena, she will fight until her last breath in that ring. Oh, that was awesome. Caught her leg. And now Athena, she's headed to the top, I believe. Headed high atop the skate zone here. But here comes Sakai. How is she up? This, this is not going to be good. No, you're absolutely right. Not going to be good for either woman as both ladies are fighting it out. Sending Sakai down. Athena now. Here we go. Oh, man. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there she is. Wait. There's Hanaya once again interjecting herself. This was an awesome match. you got to be kidding me. Why is the, the Howling Huntress out here again? I think she's, a, she's just jealous of the attention that Athena's been getting in this match. Oh. Show that heart and determination as these ladies have now broken down into a fist fight. Here comes the troops. I say let them go. I say let them go, Dad. Let them finish it once and for all, right here. down to Maven for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our WSU 8th anniversary main event! 
This match will be contested under TLC rules. Introducing first to my right, from the Unseen Forest, ladies and gentlemen, Hanaya the Howling Hunter! And her opponent, to my left, from the realm of Chicago, backslash Dallas, Texas, this is Athena! Did he really say Chicago, backslash Dallas, Texas? Yes. 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 Really want to announce every month. See a level of respect, but as soon as that bell rings, the respect's gonna go out the window as both competitors are gonna give it their all to win this matchup. You just have to imagine, this is, this is the main event of our anniversary event, not a title match. This is a match about pride between two women. The physical Who's the better of the, these two? Yeah, and both athletes have a lot of physical capabilities. Just the, just the amount of new, new offensive maneuvers they can bust out with tables, ladders, and chairs in the equation is hard to famine. Anaya getting rid of Athena to the outside. Athena almost lands on top of that table. Maybe now it's just setting into Athena, just coming so close, being driven through a table. Oh, oh Athena didn't think she would do it. First risk taken by Hanaya. Pinfall or submission wins the match in this one. Nothing hanging from the ceiling. We're going to find out who's better by either a tap out or putting someone's shoulders to the mat for three seconds. In comes Hanaya. Oh, <laughs> huge side slam. And we should be clear here. This match, there's no contract, no title belts hanging from the ceiling. These women are just allowed to use tables, ladders, and chairs yeah. in this match. And Athena was the first to bust out the chairs. Leg sweep by Hanaya. Trying to sit up, but oh, that chair's in the wrong position, being drilled right into her face, going for a cover here, and only getting a one count. Both athletes trying to end it early before they put themselves in harm's way too much. Now just driving that forearm. And look at Hanaya. Just viciously pounding now in the forearm. I think she already has yeah. a little blood coming from her lip. Yeah, there. it looks like she got caught early. And now look at this, Athena attacked the leg. Looking for a suplex now, but think about it. You take out the legs of your opponent, they can't really utilize the ladders in any high-risk situations. We think, do you see where that chair is? Yep. I got eyes. Oh, oh man. And Athena's got a back that was just driven into it. But Hanaya not going for a pinfall or anything. She's looking to get some objects, some weaponry, a dangerous ladder. Yeah, one of the many that have been brought out to ringside here. Now it should be noted that ladders are not meant to be fought with. Oh, summoning a little bit of Terry Funk here. Just drilling Athena with the edge of that ladder right in the skull. See the way her arm got stuck in that ladder? Not her arm, her neck, everything. We got a cover, that could be it. Only getting a two count. Everything just bent in an undesirable position and with the amount of force from the chair and the ladder being drilled into it. Uh-oh. That ladder wasn't good enough. Athena going for what's to be at least like a 10-foot ladder right now. And this is one of the biggest ladders you can buy in the hardware store. Athena having a little bit of trouble trying to maneuver it. I'm, I'm afraid what this ladder is going to be used for if she's having trouble maneuvering it. Just imagine it's being used on a person's body. It's going to be used to put away Hanaya. I can already tell you what she's got in mind. Uh oh, Hanaya just waiting for her. Now big forearm shots, driving her head first into, the, into that ladder. What has Anaya have planned here? She's psyching herself up now, just walking across the ladder like it's a bridge. Oh, God oh, almighty! Oh. Saw body block off the ladder, onto Athena, on the floor. It is the unprotected floor, the typical unprotected floor of this building. And Athena 
being rolled in the ring smartly by Hanaya. Hanaya went right for the cover. She didn't waste any time in between delivering that moonsault body block and going for a pinfall attempt. Lifting up the stunned Athena right now. Oh, trying Athena's to just, well, maybe not. I was going to say Athena's just dead weight right now, but she's coming back to life here. I think she saw that yellow ladder out of the corner of her eye and didn't want to be drilled into it. Instead, drilling into the abs of Hanaya. Taking the wind out and possibly cracking one. Athena has Hanaya up, bringing him down oh. across the ladder. And that is not good. And Athena goes for a cover. One, two. Only getting a two kick. Athena Smartly, both, both women right now in this match, both competitors have gone for a cover after using those the ladders. Dude, I'll use those Ds as a weapon along the skull of Hanaya the Howling Huntress. Look at the intensity on the face of Athena. She, don't, she doesn't want to lose two in a row here, especially against Hanaya. Vicious kicks. Hanaya just laying him in. Yeah, just brutalizing the chest of Athena. Dropping Athena down to the mat. And you can see Hanaya, she's got something planned and she's looking around for something. Getting the old standby, it looks like. Setting up those chairs on the outside. Obviously something very, very demented planned by Hanaya. She finds herself in this situation for the first time in her career. Sometimes this is not a, a direction you want to see a match take, but this is a tables, ladders, chairs match in a style for the first time ever. Women's tables, ladders, and chairs match. Hanaya building something on the outside with those chairs. Both women willing to risk it all. Imagine if this doesn't go as Hanaya has planned. Oh, God. A death Look nail for this matchup for her. Talk about ultra violent feng shui. Talk about the level of desire for victory Hanaya much ha must have. But look at Athena. Hanaya taking yeah. too much time. Way Athena too much time. Are regaining her bearings back in this matchup. And Hanaya doesn't know it yet. Hanaya's too busy barking orders at her stand. Oh no, oh no. Look, did her knee give out? Did an ankle give out? Oh no! Oh, God. Taking out everybody. Into Athena, or into Hanaya and those helpers. Hanaya looks out of it. All that time, she should have been taking advantage of Athena. She just gave Athena an opening. And the chair is being rebuilt on the outside. Athena, whatever Hanaya had planned, whatever Hanaya started, Athena's going to capitalize on it. She's going to take advantage of it. She's going to try to put away the Howling Huntress at the eighth anniversary. TLC, chair shot to the back. Hanaya back down. Is there more? No, I think Athena is now taking control of building this demon structure. Oh, she walked under the ladder. Even I know that's bad luck. Well, now we know what's going to happen. Oh, she reversed it. I don't think that's how it works. Grabbing more chairs. We've seen these chair stacks. We've seen these chair pyramids in the past, but I don't know if we've ever seen one that had so many chairs put into it in such a tight knit area. Well, these ladies want to make a statement here at the oh, arena no. in South oh. Philadelphia. She's scooping her up. Oh, but wait a minute, no. Hanaya able to roll through, able to get her bearings back into the ring. Now both women are back in the ring, slugging it out. Strike for strike, both women trying to find out who the tougher competitor is, making sure they don't go through that chair contraption. Hanaya once again in control of this one, taking Athena up top. Oh, they are both right by that chair menagerie. Either way they go, it's not a pleasant landing, whatever happens here. I'd rather land in the ring if I had two choices. Oh, Hanaya connects. Beautiful drop kick. Oh, oh. oh Athena walks right into both feet, but follows up herself and knocks Hanaya yeah, down. She just absorbed that drop kick. Oh. 
and viciously going back on the attack of Hanaya. Now pounding away at the midsection. Athena getting her bearings, getting support from the, the crowd here in Philadelphia. Oh, front handspring delivering that forearm right to the face. Oh, but missing with the follow-up kick to the face. Back and forth this matchup's been. Neither really gaining, gaining firm control of the match for a sustained period of time. Hanaya on the tech. Oh, wait a no, she's uh -oh. caught. Oh, this is not good for Hanaya. Oh, high angle suplex straight into the corner. Athena trapping Hanaya's body, driving her into those turnbuckles. And now bring the ladder back into the equation. Hanaya's not out, but she's definitely stunned. Athena has her right where she wants her. Oh, this is not a good place to be for Hanaya. Hanaya's just dazed. What does Athena have planned with this ladder? Is she Hanaya's gonna do it? pinned in that corner. No! Oh, she's not gonna go coast to coast. She's looking to travel around the country. Oh! She didn't get all of it, but she got enough of yeah, it. Just enough of it. Go for the cover here. One, two, only getting a two count. Had she connected fully, this match will be over. The way she connected with that, she just has control of Hanaya, but she's that much closer, putting her away for good. Setting up the ladder once again now, now positioning, positioning it near that. Well, I thought she was gonna use the table, but now I'm not sure what she's setting up for. I don't know if she knows what she's setting up for. She's taking a lot of punishment in this one. Her mind can't fully be in control of her body right now. Getting another ladder. This aluminum painter's ladder. Yeah, notice you said painter's ladder. There's just things are wrestler's ladder. These objects are not meant to come across people's bodies. Don't be an occupationist. Ladders are for everyone. I'm just trying to point out the dangers of this match. In it's case, a very dangerous, dangerous match. In case you I didn't notice. I think we've seen that. I think we've established that. Just look at the way both competitors are moving. This is a very dangerous contest. These two ladies now. Athena might oh, be the, oh, 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 right across the throat. But Hanaya is not backing down. One shot to the throat. Unable to stop whatever she's trying to accomplish. And that's put Athena through that ladder. Oh, God. Oh, that ladder. That ladder no has give. no give. Athena just, Athena's the one who put it there in the first place. Yeah, we say that ladder had no give, but the ladder holding it looks like the leg's about to buckle. That was how much force Hanaya came down, just driving Athena into that ladder. Oh, it looks like Hanaya's not done yet. What she's setting up for? Oh, she, she drove her knee into the stomach, but you gotta remember the ladder was still underneath Athena. So all that metal driven into her back in the process. This match has been a train wreck and a car crash to both women's bodies. The fans are trying to will Athena back into this matchup as Athena has been on the receiving end of quite some devastating maneuvers in the last few moments of this match. Yeah, like I was saying, the first two thirds of this matchup, it was back and forth, but really the last couple of minutes, it's all been Hanaya with the high impact offense using the ladder to her advantage. He's pounding away on Athena right now. A huge chop from Hanaya to Athena, has Athena reeling. I, and now battling it out near that, I don't know, what would you say, 22 foot tall ladder? Sure. Sounds about right. I don't want to be anywhere near, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that in a match. I have to imagine the six foot chair structure that these two ladies built. Hanaya still in control, just battling away. Hanaya's 
She sees the ladder, she sees the chair, oh. she sees the guardrail, which she sends Athena into. Anaya still has a lot that she can do to Athena to try to put her away, but it's that risk and variable of these weapons that could cost her if she doesn't do it as soon as possible. I think for the first time in Hanaya's career, I've seen a look of confidence in her face after that. I mean, she's she has she's fairly young in this business. Nope, she usually looks timid, but right now she's not looking timid anymore. She's going back to that ladder bridge. That forest based roots. Oh, oh, oh look at Athena. No, no, no. Able to stop it. Yes. Yeah, but I think Anaya took it there. I Athena? think her back hit the ground. No. No. Are you kidding me? This is going to kill the young lady. Don't this do is this. Kill her. Don't do this. Oh! oh God. Slingshotting her. Ribs first in that ladder. If she didn't break a rib, I don't know if Athena's gonna be able to continue, but if she didn't break a rib, Athena's career might be shortened just from the process of having that done to her. The damage done's definitely gonna win this for Athena now. I don't think Athena's done. No, she's not. Now she's positioned across that ladder by Athena. What does Athena have in mind now? She wants to win this one in a big way. I think it goes beyond winning. I think she wants to end Hanaya. I think she wants to put a, a solid exclamation point to the end of their rivalry and to the end of Hanaya. Is she going for a submission hold on top of this ladder bridge? That's exactly what she's going for. Tying up the legs and pulling on the neck. She's done so much damage to the back of of Hanaya. Yeah, and you know what? The ribs are also contracted in this, the midsection, which has also been damaged. We saw just driven in that ladder moments ago. But Hanaya not giving up. Hanaya's not gonna quit in this one. I think Athena just let go for her own safety on that ladder bridge. Yeah, she could never get good footing on it. Double X hand to the midsection. And now Athena ascending up, and Hanaya is in an undesirable position right now. Oh, oh it missed oh, the no. no! Did you see the way her face came down on the leg of that ladder? And this is what Hanaya needs to do. Uh, Athena just hellaciously collided with that ladder, and Hanaya's got to take advantage of this. And she has a full mouth of teeth. After this match, I'm gonna be shocked. Hanaya now wants to bust out the first table in this matchup. She might not need it. She might just need to put away. Athena, she might have her beat. She's made the mistake once of taking too much time against Athena and Acosta earlier. Hanaya is now has plenty of time, I think, as she sets up the table. Yeah, but you see she's in a hurry. There's a sense of urgency with Hanaya right now. She has to capitalize. She knows it. Athena might be knocked out cold, but she can still wake up. But part of the problem is getting Athena back into the ring. Did she just drop the leg of that ladder across her as well? The hell is, oh no. I mean, I think we all know she wants to drive her through the table. She wants to make an arena moment is what she wants to do. Hanaya wants to win this one in a big way. She wants to define her career. A moment that stands the time of history. But she might be wasting too much time yeah, in the ring. Athena's finally starting to wake up. A chain of endearment, but it's not going to win you the match unless you capitalize on Athena. I, uh, maybe Athena is enough. I mean, she, she, she is awake, but the lights are definitely not on. Athena, Athena, I think more instinctually trying to get back into the ring. Oh, maybe she was just luring. I don't think she was luring Hanai into a trap. Actually, I think what happened there, she just was, had a quick burst of energy. That's she's in survival mode right now. Fighting to make sure nothing else dangerous happens to her in this career shortening match. That's what these TLC matches are. Oh no. They take time off your career. There are two ways to go for Hanaya right now, the way Athena's placed in there, and neither way is good. That kick to the head put Hanaya out on her feet. 
And what happens next? Athena might is just... looking at that stack of chairs. And what happens next might just put her out. Oh, no! Oh, oh my God! God! Both women, both women feeling the wrath of that stack of chairs. Just an unbelievable amount of risk to win this TLC match. Did you see how many well, chairs were just driven into the bodies of these two athletes? Well, I can see Athena's moving her, her limbs. That's one good sign right now. It's a but good Hanaya, sign. I'm not sure about Hanaya, though. Hanaya moving her legs. And her fingers. Well, that's a good sign, too. <laughs> but how the hell did either of them get up to finish this matchup? I have no clue. They're given everything they have to win this war, to win this TLC match, to go home with the victory. Now, I'm not sure if we covered this beforehand, but I believe that the way to win this match is by pinfall oh, we submission did. inside the ring. Oh. Go. The fight somehow continuing. Oh. Referee, stop the match. I don't know. Keep it going. Mean. What are you talking I, about? I don't think Hanaya would have anything pleasant to say or what she might do if the ref were to stop the match. As long as this, she has this a. This is for the longevity of these two ladies' careers. This is I, one of the most hard hitting matches. You want to stop it? Are you crazy? As long as she has an ounce of will in her body, she's not quitting. She's not going to let this match be stopped. She's going to keep fighting. She wants to prove her worth. She wants to prove she's a top athlete. Breathe, Jake. Breathe. I'm trying. It's, it's getting emotional here. This match has been 21 minutes of pure hell. The, slap, the show of the respect. Like we said, they shook hands before the match. Oh. It's all gone now. Hanaya is a woman possessed. And now they're back in the ring where this match can end now. Now that ladder, that table set up in the middle of the ring. And both women are fighting for position here. Trading kicks now. And then back at the back of Hanaya. Super, oh! That kick lays Athena out on that table. Well, here's her moment. This is her moment right now for Hanaya. She's looking to make a career. She's looking to win the biggest match of her lifetime. She's... If she can oh. beat Athena, she's going to risk it all to do it. Oh, man! Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. And the table doesn't give. But Athena's back might have... The crushing weight of Hanaya. Crushing the sternum of Athena, the back being crushed by that table. Her wrist table. to be broken after that. Absolutely, they were just sandwiched oh. in between the table and Hanaya. But Hanaya's gonna recycle that table. She's gonna give it one more shot. Well, she wants her moment, and can you blame her? I don't even know if that... The legs uh, are smashed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hanaya should have tried to put her away, though. Only use this as a last resort. Inside cradle. Oh! That'll be it. One, two, and... Oh, only a two count. I'm surprised it was that much, considering how much punishment Athena's just taken. Like Dan said, she's in survival mode. But she finds herself in the same position she was about a minute and a half ago. Underneath a crazed Hanaya. Look at Hanaya. She is, she is living in the moment right now. The risk taking Huntress. Back up. Oh, and no. this time succeeds. But how much did that take out of her? If she doesn't get her hand over Athena, it was all for nothing. Hanaya may, may have knocked the wind out of herself. Look at her trying to will herself. 
She's just living in the moment right now. We got the cover. One, two, and no! Stand what? Two sentons from the top of a ladder using a table, and somehow Athena still manages to kick out. When it, she has another table. Hanaya is willing to do anything to win this one. But look at her, she can barely move that table after the physical beating that she's gone through in this matchup. But it looks like she's hyped back up, ready to hopefully, in her mind, put Athena away using a table this time around. Oh no, oh, wait I think a Athena minute. caught her. Athena caught her! Oh. <laughs> the back of her head! And then oh. go for a second one! And it will cover one, two, and no! No! Only a two count! How the hell did that happen? That was a two, right? I didn't lose my mind, that was only a two! That was only a two count. This match lives on. What else can you do? What else can you do to try to put your opponent away? How much harder can you go into this fight? How much more depraved can you be with your offense? Maybe we're about to find out. And you can see the lower back starting to give on Athena there. You can see her grasp of her air. She has to have a cracked rib or two. It has her set. Just gripping the arm and legs. Fisherman Buster right on the steel. Panaya's neck was just compressed from that. One, two, and oh, oh. I, how was it that close? Once again, only a two count. I don't know if I've ever seen two athletes just take this much damage in a TLC match and survive it. Now you're seeing Athena getting frustrated. She, that ladder's not good enough. She's looking at the big one. Yeah, the biggest one there. I don't know if you can tell from home, but that ladder is almost reading the trusses on the ceiling of this building. If Athena goes there, she can swing off of them. Don't give her any ideas. I don't think she can hear me from back here. You have to have some crazy ideas if you, if you sign up for a TLC match in this building. Is she, she's gonna climb up that ladder on the outside of the ring. Did she get the distance to make it to the inside of the ring, considering every part of her body's gotta be in immense pain right now? I mean, and she tried that, I hate to say she tried that coast to coast earlier, wasn't able to make the full impact, that distance was too far. Can she connect from this distance? Oh, oh face! Jesus! Oh, face! From the outside into the ring! Two and three! standing ovation they are getting now. Both women have proved to be main event players. But with the O face, Athena comes out victorious. Have you ever seen in a ladder match, a TLC match?
chairs. So much for respect. Oh. Anaya showing her true colors tonight. We thought this was about respect, but the truth is it's about Hanaya making her career. If she couldn't win the match, this is her moment. Oh, you're laying out Athena. And again. Oh, and this beating is still continuing. This, I, I didn't expect this from Athena, I mean from Hanaya, but I think I kind of like it. Well, what a, it was a, she got her moment. She did get her moment. Maybe not the way she wanted it, but she got it. Thanks for joining us for Athena the War Goddess as CZW presented one of the hardest hitting women athletes to ever grace a squared circle. We hope that you'll join us at czwrestling.com to find out when Combat Zone Wrestling will be in a town near you. Remember, Combat Zone Wrestling is like nothing else.